Let me show you how to automate sending messages to leads in LinkedIn Sales Navigator using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. A quick bit of context on how this template works. It works by opening a leads list page from Sales Navigator in a Chrome window. It will then scrape each lead, and that's as many leads as you want, on the page, scraping their name and the link to their profile. Once it's done that, the automation will open up each profile page like I'm doing here, click on message, type in a message, then click send. You can see I've had some fun testing this automation with my colleague. Getting started, you will need one of these on screen. You'll need a lead list page already set up with some leads saved to it. So if you haven't done that yet, get to it. Next up, if you haven't installed the template, you will find it on our website, axiom.ai. Click on templates and you'll find that and other templates in the list. You will also be able to, finally, you'll be able to access the template at any time within the extension by clicking start from template Look for social media and you'll find it in that list. Okay, without further ado, let's get on with configuring this automation. Now I'm ready to set up the template. I've already got it installed and I'm gonna open it up on this LinkedIn sales list. Okay, so what I need to do is set up step one. And we've only got a couple of steps that I need to set up. So actually three in total. So this is gonna be really quick. So first of all, step one, get a, a list of links from a page URL. This is a scraping step where we scrape the, um, the names and the profile links from. So what we need to do in the URL field is add the link to our link to our sales, I'm um, sorry, our saved sales list in Sales Navigator. And because I'm on the page, I'm just gonna cheat, press get current URL, and it's just added the link for me. Pretty neat. Next up, well, that's it for this step, apart from highlighting max results to you. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to message three people. So if you actually want to change the amount of people you're messaging, change the max results here. Okay, now, briefly, the selectors for this scraper step are already set up. You can see here, I've got the, on the left in the column A, I have, um, the links to the profiles, column B, the names. I'm just gonna press X and close that. And that's that first step set up, pretty simple. Remember, if you want to message more than one um, lead, change the max results. Now let me just collapse that step. So now we go into the loop step, and that's already set up for us. It's gonna loop through the scrape links, and it's looping through the scrape data as indicated there, which I'm just circling around with my pointer. The go to page step is also set up, and we're just passing the URL in from the scrape step. So that's this go to page loads the profile, profile of the lead we want to message. Split names into columns, or we're passing the name we scraped, and then we're splitting it into two columns so we can personalize our message. Click element message. That's that click step that clicks on the message button that I showed you earlier, opens up the form so we can send the message. We then, what we're doing here is something a little bit clever. What we're doing is we're scraping to check the, whether the um, additional form element, the subject line is present. If the subject line is present, we pass it to the if condition here, and then we enter a subject line. So, this is the next step we need to set up, step 2.61. Now, if you're messaging a first degree connection, you won't be um, requiring the subject line. Second degrees need a subject line. So to set this step up, we've done the selector already. You just need to enter the message. So I'm just gonna put hello, and I'm gonna click insert data to grab that name. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it from the split step and add, add the name in there. So that's added that bit of customization. Now that's step 2.6.1 set up. Let me just collapse it now to enter, sorry, to set up our final step for this automation, step 2.7. And what we want to do here is enter the message that we set, send to um, the lead. 
Now, again, the selector set up. All we need to do is add our message in. Just testing again. I must be driving them mad by now. And then split name, clear all, choose the column. And that's step 2.7 up. And that's set up. And that's all three steps we needed to set up done. So I can collapse that step and we're done. Finally, step 2.8, that basically uses um, some keys. So I tab, 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 and then press enter, and that clicks the send button to get that message sent. And the last step just waits a little bit to allow it to be sent. It's that easy. It's ready to test now. OK, now we're ready to test, ready to see the magic of Axiom sending those messages, the part I never get tired of. And um, what else? Two things. So we could run this on the desktop or the cloud. Let me just show you the setting, which is a fairly new feature on Axiom. So if you want to run it in the cloud, store cookies and disable local. But I'm going to run it locally for the purpose of this demo. Now, um, what's next? Now, if you want to run a test and you don't want to send the message because you're not sure whether you like the message, but you just want to see if the template is working, you can do that. Just disable step 2.8 like that, and it won't send the message. But for the purpose of this video, I want to show you your template working. So I'm just going to click Run. And here you see the Axiom desktop should open up. And this isn't me. This is Axiom in control. I'm just going to adjust the height and width of the. Now, that's the scraper, the orange highlight. That's like highlighting the name. So it's then going to scrape the link and the name there. It's done that. So it's going to loop through the first profile. We should see a click on the message button any second now and a pop up open with the message. There it goes. Now we're just doing the scrape to check if subject it wasn't there. We've typed the message. Now we're going to loop through and send the next one. That's pretty cool. Like I said, I never get tired of watching the browser being automated. Now, finally, before I go into what you can customize and um, anything else, which my mind's gone completely blank, I just wanted to say, do remember that you can disable step 2.8 to test the automation without sending the message. Last up, before I go, do remember any template can be fully customized simply by adding additional steps and fleshing out the functionality you want. You can add sub steps into the loop, or you can add just add steps below and outside of the loop if you want to do additional actions. Now, it's also worth noting 2.7, 2.6.1, you can fully customize those messages. I've shown you how to put the names in there. You could also change the template, for example, to scrape their job titles if you want to put more information in there. OK, so that's a little bit about how you can customize the template. We also offer great support. In case you get stuck, go to our website, axiom.ai, look at the top menu, click on support, share the Axiom with us, tell us where you're stuck, and we'll get back to you with some help. But please do also refer back to the template page because there's some hints and tips on that. Thank you.